Welcome back to this video series on the PBS 4100. In the previous videos, we've seen the system, we've done some basic vibration analysis, and we've also done a trial weight balance. In this video, we're going to come back around to the balance features of the PBS 4100, but instead of doing a trial weight balance, we're going to do an influence coefficient balance. The influence coefficient balance is unique in that it lets us skip the trial weight run, which means one less shot. To do, a to do an influence coefficient balance, we'll click the balance engine button, which will bring us to the balance wizard. We're going to start a new influence coefficients balance. Click next. Again, it'll walk us through the steps of the balance and then let us name it. In this case, Roto Kit, IC Balance, and the date. And click Next. In this case, we want to use the Roto Kit number one influence coefficients, which is where we saved the influence coefficients from our trial weight run from the previous video. The system is now going to ask us for our base vibration survey. In this case, we do have it. It's located right here, 331-2021 baseline acceleration. Just like in the trial weight, the system will automatically pick out our speeds of interest and figure out what the vibration magnitude was at each of those speeds and display them with a red dot. We can click Next which will tell us there's no backing up, and then bring us to define existing weights. If we had existing weights, we could define them here. In this case, there are no existing weights. The system then will skip the trial weight balance procedure and use the influence coefficients we previously derived to calculate a balanced solution. In this case, it wants us to install a class two weight at 270 degrees, and a class 6 weight at 315, or whole 15. So all we'll have to do is install these weights, which I'll do now. I've now installed our trial weights. We'll click Next, and the system will prompt me multiple times in multiple different formats on what weights to install, and in some cases, remove. In this case, I've installed the weights, and I've confirmed the location of these weights in each of these different formats. It's now asking to do the check run. I haven't done a check run yet with the influence coefficient balance, so I'll click new survey, and while that's loading, I'll get the engine running. DAU communications will be established by the WinPBS software, and we're ready to go. We'll start the survey. case, we're doing the check run for influence coefficients on 331, 2021. We'll click begin survey and accelerate the engine. We'll go to the vibe versus speed tab and we'll analyze the results to confirm that we got a good vibration balance solution. Just like before, a very good balance solution, especially through that 3,000 to 4,000 RPM range where we noticed the most vibration from the Roto kit. And we continue to accelerate. And just like the trial weight balance, a slightly higher vibration at the higher RPMs, but certainly well below any limitations. At maximum speed, we'll stop the survey, 
and decelerate the engine. As we're decelerating, we're not saving data here. We're just monitoring to see if there's any major differences between the acceleration and deceleration run. Now that we've monitored the deceleration run, we can return to the balance and use the data we just obtained for our check run. Back in the balance wizard, CRIC 331 2021, we'll click next. Again, the system will automatically pick out the vibration magnitudes at each speed of interest for us and display them with red dots. Proceed through the balance, and it'll tell us the results. As you can see again, We've drastically reduced the vibration at that 3,500 to 4,000 RPM mark, and we've also done very good at maintaining a fairly low vibration level at the higher RPMs. As with the trial weight balance, we can have the system calculate another solution if for any reason we're not happy, but in this case, we're happy the balance is complete. Again, the system will let us update any influence coefficient sets, and since this was a good balance, I will update our RotoKit number one influence coefficients, and the file was updated. At this point, the balance is complete when using an influence coefficient. As you can see, this balance can be very, very quick when using it properly, and you have a good set of influence coefficients. By clicking Finish, it brings us back to the main menu, and with that, this video of the series is complete. In the next and final video of the series, we're going to sum up everything we've seen about the 4100 system and how we can effectively use it on actual airplanes and on engines and test cells.